So from a two mile six hurdle maiden, we've got a chase maiden following it up. And it's Armageddon for Martin Liedem's number one. Xenophon Croy for James Shea. Artistic Rose for D. Hooley. More Cat Gray for Thomas Rogers. Nashville Spice for Vinnie Gerard. Penny Bray for Craig Beckwith. Romantic Liaison for Obi-Wan. Sofalini Moline for Paul Rhodes. And Yearbook Leggings for Ben Bonici. Final race here, I think, at... Uh, oh, no, we're not at Hereford. We've moved somewhere else. Well, the start has got him away. Approach the first of 17. It's Penny Bray that looks like she's going to lead us over this one. Taking a keen hold. They're all over it. And it's Penny Bray from Artistic Rose. And you've got Armageddon. Outside the blue silks is yearbook leggings. We get over the second. A slow jump by the leader, but he's got a few length of advantage already. We can afford to take them easy. And we've got plenty of racing to go. We get to the third. They'll take that well as well. And it's Penny Bray. Although yearbook leggings on the outside has jumped well. Put himself up to second on his own. Artistic Rose in third. Then poking out of the pack is Xenophon Croy as they get to the fourth. Leaders all through that poor jump there by Artistic Rose has shuffled him back down towards the rear of the pack. So it's Penny Bray by a length and a half to Yearbook Leddings moving over towards the rail now. This is your 1 2. And a couple of lengths back to Armageddon and that's Xenophon Croy. Artistic Rose and Sufalini Mullen. 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 Nashville Spice Bird. More Cat Grey and Romantic Liaison just towards the rear. So it's Penny Bray that still leads us by a couple of links to Yearbook Leggings. And about three back to Xenophon Croy. We go to the fifth. Nice big ditch. We'll take it well. Yearbook Leggings was a little bit slow. Xenophon Croy got over it better and joins him for second. We go to the sixth. This time it's Xenophon Croy that couldn't get over it well enough. And shuffles back down the pack, leaving Yearbook Leggings in second on his own. So Penny Bray to the seventh takes it well. This is a rest, a decent jump there by Armageddon. To the eighth, these defences come fast and fast and quick here. And it's Penny Bray still leading by a couple of lengths to yearbook leggings, and they've got about three or four from Armageddon and Nashville Spice Bird has moved up now. Between those is Xenophon Croy. Widest of all is Sufalini Mullin. We got Artistic Rose and more Cat Grey. Romantic liaison being shuffled along a little bit at the rear. So we have a full circuit to go. We go past the winning post. And it's Penny Bray from the Yearbook Legends. Natural Spice Bird, Xenophon Croy, Sofalini Moulin wide throughout. Artistic Rose, jumping better. More Cat Grey. Just towards the rear is Romantic Liaison. Up against the fence in the yellow silks. Still got a mile and a quarter to run. A further eight fences to take. Penny Bray takes the ninth and all over it well. So it's Penny Bray from the Yearbook Leggings. He's been your one two for most of the race. And about three back to Nashville Spice Bird. Sofalini Moulin still outside to get to the ditch or a poor jump there. Oh, and he's lost his rider, Yearbook Leggings. It was a poor jump. Jockey got off. And uh, unlucky there. I think that's Ben Bonucci. Fuller at the 11th. And they will get over that one. And we're inside the final mile now. It's still Penny Bray. Got about a four length, five length advantage now for Armageddon. Nashville Spiceford on the inside. Artistic Rose. A bit slow over that. Xenophon Croy is still there. Moving up on the outside now is Sufalini Moulin. Wider still. Is it more Cat Grey? Maybe looking for a bit of firmer ground here as the rain still teams down. The leader there was a little bit slow over that one. He's allowed Armageddon to get within a couple of lengths now. Moving up on the inside is Nashville Spiceberg. Jockey's asked for a bit more and been pushed along. But it's Penny Bray now as they swing left-handed and they're going to line up for the judge. We've still got five furlongs to go. It's Penny Bray. Leads by about three to Nashville Spiceberg. Armageddon. Moving well on the inside now is Artistic Rose. Wider still is Morcat Gray. They're followed through by Xenophon Croy and Sufalini Moulin. And Romantic Liaison is getting a little bit detached. But it's Artistic Rose that's got up now. And it's Artistic Rose are running away now from Penny Bray who doesn't look like he's got a 
lot left. It's a little bit slow over that, but it's still artistic. Rose by a length to Penny Bray. Three back to Nashville. Space Bird Armageddon's up. Got a lap left. Xenophon Croy. Two and a half furlongs to go, and it's still artistic. Rose with two to jump. Artistic Rose by about four from Penny Bray. Nashville Spice Bird. More Cat Grey. Xenophon Croy Armageddon. They're not going to catch this leader inside the final two. We've only got one to jump, and it's artistic Rose from Penny Bray's over it. Well, here come Penny Bray. Nashville Spice Bird throwing down a challenge. More Cat Grey trying to run on, but it's artistic. Artistic Rose. Are they going to catch him? It's Artistic Rose inside the final furlong. Here comes Nashville Spice Bird and Penny Bray. Artistic Rose. Pash Nashville Spice Bird. Penny Bray between horses. Artistic Rose. Here comes Penny Bray. Land long time leader. Penny Bray. Penny Bray's going to get up here. Penny Bray got back up to take it from that. Arti Artistic Rose on the line. Nashville Spice Bird was third. Oh, that's a good win for Craig Beckwith, I think, there. to give him way to our sister Rose. He got straight back up there and took the race. Nashville sure Spice Bird in third. And a four or five length. So it was Craig Beckwith that takes it with Penny Bray. Good looking horse that one. Artistic Rose for D. Hooley was second. Nashville Spice Bird for Ginny then Ginny? Ginny? Ginny Varad, <laughs> Ginny Varad, oh, sorry, Vinny. Xenophon Croy for James Shea was fourth and Armageddon for Martin Needham was fifth. I'll hand you back to Martin.